Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the Victor's Podcast. So, let's get right into this Rutgers preview. And I'm not even going to say it's a must-win game anymore because the past three games were must-win games, and it doesn't change anything at this point. All things considered, though, these next three games against Rutgers, Penn State, and Maryland are more or less winnable games, and finishing 4-4 four and four while showing improvement and getting crushed by Ohio State is better than finishing 1-7 and seven and getting crushed by Ohio State. So, Rutgers is coming off a heartbreaking loss to Illinois and smells blood in the water, looking to get its first win since 2014 against a very incapacitated Michigan team. Rutgers' offense is no joke, led by QB Noah Verdell and very crafty offensive coordinator Sheen Gleason, who drew up some great trick plays against Ohio State a few weeks ago. There are an abundance of problems in Ann Arbor and a lot of things we need to see from Michigan and the coaches moving forward. So, let's start things off. Offensively, for the third week now I'm saying this, Josh Gaddis has to improve play calling. Everything that worked well against Minnesota is gone, and I get that Minnesota has a very weak defense slash secondary, but we haven't even seen the same plays used against the Gophers. It is imperative he turns things around against Rutgers, or else he most likely is on the hot seat with Jim Harbaugh. Hassan and Charbonnet need to get the ball more, period. Your two best rushers had four carries against Wisconsin. Why is that? Corum is a very talented and speedy guy, don't get me wrong, but he had 7 carries for 5 yards and Zach and Hassan had 27 yards on 4 carries. I'll just let the numbers speak for themselves. I want and need to see McNamara play more. Unless Joe Millen can miraculously develop into a better QB with more touch and accuracy than Cade in a week, then that's the only reason he should get the start against Rutgers. And... I think the biggest problem among fans right now, among Michigan fans, is that everyone wanted him to be great so bad when he shows he can't perform like a Cam Newton. Everyone wants to downplay his faults. He still has time to change, and the guy's a crazy athlete, but I think overall, Cade is a better QB. That's it. A fundamentally, just a better QB with better play. Now, let's move on to the disaster, which is the Wolverines' defense. Fundamentals are a major key to this defense's performance, and although I was surprised to see the corner play cleared up, eh, sort of, last week against the Wisconsin, the linebackers didn't do- drop back in coverage well, and the line was abysmal against the run. Granted, Quiddy, Pay, and Hutchinson are out, you have to have your backups ready and tough when you need them. Mozzie Smith, Chris Hinton, and Taylor Upshaw are no jokes, but they get pushed around extremely easily against that badger line. And that's what separates great football programs from the rest of college football. Their ability to reload when players get hurt and have their backups well prepared to jump in and play almost as good or basically at the same level as their starters. So really, the D-line needs to improve. I would love to see the corners continue to grow and Don Brown needs to find a defensive plan that can adapt when one facet of the defense is underperforming. I also think that uh, Jim needs to involve himself more into the game plan and take control of the play calling if Josh Gaddis continues to blunder. Overall, I think Michigan improved from last week, and we have like a, let's say, just like a working defensive game plan that we can lean back on while the play calling improves on Josh Gaddis's end. I also think Harbaugh switches it up, and McNamara starts, and I think Michigan gets a win in a close game, 27-21. to Overall, these um, two teams are very close. Michigan and Rutgers, like if you go look at their stat line, even on ESPN, it's so similar in uh, yards allowed per game, yards per game, uh, play, stats, uh, etc. So this is the Victor's Podcast. I'm Jeremy Brown. As always, go blue.